Hey everyone, you just saw a fully functional Arkanoid clone created by AI. Pretty impressive, right? But here is something interesting. It was made with just one prompt. No tweaking, no back and forth, just one shot. You might be wondering, which AI pulled off this coding magic? Well, that's exactly what we are here to find today. So stay until the very end of this video not to miss any important information. I've lined up a diverse set of AI models for this challenge and things are about to get interesting. But before we dive in, let's talk about AI landscape for a second. Most of these models offer both paid and free versions, each with its own set of capabilities and limitations. For this experiment, I've used a full-powered version where available. That means I've paid for the access for to GPT-40, Cloud 3.5 and Gemini Advance. But don't worry, I've also included models that are primarily free or have robust free tires like Codestral or Code Llama. Why use paid versions? I wanted to see what these AIs can do at their full potential. But remember, you can always access many of these models for free, just with some limitations. So whether you are interested in the top tire performers or looking for a budget-friendly option, this experiment has insights for everyone. So here's the deal. We are putting six AI models to the test. Their mission? Create a working Arkanoid clone game with just one prompt. Here are the ground rules. Each AI gets a one-shot. If it's not working, it's game over. They all get the exact same prompt. No fixes or tweaks from me. If it crashes, it crashes. We will put each working game into a couple of tests to see if everything was implemented like stated in the prompt. Here you can check the full prompt, which mostly was created by me and later a bit refined by Cloud AI just to be sure that everything is written properly. But before we dive in, I'm really curious about your AI instincts. What do you think? Which AI gonna win? Is it going to be a free or paid model? Let's see how good your AI instincts are. And hey, if you are excited about this challenge, hit the subscribe button for more AI showdowns. Okay, let's start our challenge with GPT-4, which is the newest model from OpenAI. At the top you can see a full prompt and the model I chosen. I also get information that I should install Pygame module to run this code, which is certainly useful. Now I will copy uh, the whole code to my Visual Studio and run it uh, from terminal command line and you can see on the screen. Okay, so let's run this code and see the final uh, results. Wow, <laughs> I really like how this game looks. Remember, this was only just one prompt. The game mechanics looks good. Some of the blocks have different action assigned to them. For example, the red one should slightly speed up the ball. The yellow one causes the number of balls to double. And the blue one needs to be hit twice to be completely destroyed. The scoring system works fine. The only thing I notice is that some blocks are outside of the uh, game area, which you can see clearly on the right side. But it is not a very big mistake. <laughs> I'm super happy how this works. I just want to remind you that it was only one prompt. Okay, so let's uh, wait for the final screen and destroy all the blocks. I think it's gonna be just now and we will hit the remaining two blocks. Okay, game ended and we have even a nice end screen with the final score and option to restart. I'm really surprised how good it turned out. Okay, here are the final results for GPT-40. Game is launching, so that means one point. Core mechanics, one point. There are different blocks, so one point. Special effects, uh, all these ones are working, so one point. Game progress and scoring system, one point. Game polish, only half of the point because I saw some flaws. Overall, I think five and a half points gonna be okay for this one. The next model in our challenge is GPT-4. Some people claimed on the Reddit that these are even better in some cases than 4.0. So let's try out this one. Um, I think it's uh, not on par with uh, what we saw with GPT 4.0. So the pad is working, but the ball is missing. It only started at the beginning. It should be probably obvious that in this case I only awarded two points, one for the game running at all and the second for the blocks being different. 
And now we have famous Cloud Sonnet 3.5, uh, which has been making so much noise in the AI world recently. Wow! Uh, it handled uh, itself really well. There are no blocks outside the screen, like we have with GPT-40. Uh, everything looks good, although the ball could be round instead of square. Apart from that, the game mechanics work well and everything looks great. There are different uh, actions assigned with the blocks, which is clearly uh, visible. So I think we have a winner here. Um, but let's speed it up a little bit and wait for the end screen. Okay, uh, it's working <laughs> very fast uh, right now because I don't want you guys to get uh, bored. So let's see the final screen. Uh, it took a little bit more time. But finally, yes, I have an end screen. As for the evaluation, I gave full points here. And to be honest, uh, I couldn't find anything to criticize. Maybe the scoreboard was a bit annoying, but apart from that, everything looked really great. Hence the overall six points. Now let's go with another famous model, Google Gemini Advanced uh, version. Here is the prompt and code generation from Gemini and as usually I run it from the console. Whoa, I didn't expect this one to happen to be honest. It's really a shame that uh, such a big model like Google Gemini cannot handle uh, this prompt in uh, one shot. Okay, so I think we cannot uh, fix it uh, since the rules are clear. So obviously zero points goes to Google Gemini advanced uh, version. So let's challenge now an open source model which is Codestrol on our list. Here is um, our usual prompt uh, generation process but uh, it is on the Mistral webpage. And then we will use again uh, terminal windows to start the game. Okay, game launched, that's fine, but I can see there is some strange gap on the right side of the screen, but oh well. The actions on the blocks looks okay, though let's check the uh, yellow one. I would like to see if it uh, does the proper action. Okay, it's not doing that. But uh, let's see the other blocks. Oh, now it's going crazy. Okay. Not everything works well, but remember that this is an open source model, so it's not bad anyway. Finally, I decided to give it a 4 points uh, for the game progress, game launch and block variety. And here comes another uh, open source model, Llama 3, which is a very famous uh, one. I used this one instead of Code Llama, which I couldn't find uh, the working version, hence the Llama 3. Let's start the actual uh, game. Okay, it uh, no, it's it's not working. I used mouse to move the paddle, uh, but still there are no proper actions uh, on the ball, so it does not bounce the ball, and there are no actions on the, on the blocks either. So. I think it's not working correctly, although at least it started somehow. I decided to give it a two points for game launch and block variety and for also um, half of the point for core mechanics. Since you stayed with me to this moment of this uh, video, I would like to show you a GPT-40 Mini, very famous model nowadays. It has been released just a couple of days uh, ago. Some people claim that it is on par with uh, even much bigger and more powerful models. So I decided to put it to the test as well. Here is the result. Uh, Okay, <laughs> yeah, it is not what we've been waiting for. <laughs> it tries to, to work somehow, but of course uh, it failed completely. At least it just started. So I decided to give it a two points, one for the game launch and one for the different blocks. 
So here is our Hall of Fame challenge uh, results for all the models. On the first place we have Claude Sonnet 3.5, the second one goes to OpenAI GPT 4.0, then you have Codestrol, Llama 3, GPT 4, GPT 4.0 Mini, and on the last place Gemini Advanced. So what did you think about this AI coding challenge? Were you surprised by how the different models performed? What should we challenge these AIs to create next? A different time of game? A web app? Or maybe something completely unexpected? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more AI experiments like this one. Until next time, keep exploring the wild world of AI.